A funeral was held on Monday for a Korean victim of Japan's wartime sexual slavery who passed away last week. She and the other victims have waited their entire lives seeking full accountability from the Japanese government, which never came. Yu Jun Hee reports. 93 year old Igi Jung, who was forced into sexual slavery by the Japanese military in World War II, passed away last Friday at her hometown of Tangjin. 80 kilometers south of Seoul. Yi was only 15 years old when she was dragged into a Japanese military brothel in Singapore. With her death, the number of surviving victims registered with the Korean government has ticked down to just 33 women. The city of Tangjin held a public funeral for Yi on Monday, and the processions came to an end in front of a Comfort Women monument that was installed there last year. Japan's comfort women atrocities are a painful part of our history that we can never forget and an agonizing memory for the victims that can never be washed away. With E's death, those able to provide living testimony of Japan's wartime atrocities continue to dwindle amid Tokyo's efforts to block the listing of comfort women documents on a UNESCO heritage list. South Korea and Japan are still clashing over the issue despite a bilateral agreement reached in 2015 to settle the issue under the previous Park Geun-hye administration. Historians estimate that as many as 200,000 women all across Asia, mostly Koreans, were forced into sexual slavery by the Japanese military during World War II. Yoo Joon-hee, Arirang News.